Hello everyone and welcome to this little bonus episode. Let's bring the mutable object and all our cloth assets into the sequencer. So you can use them in your cinematics and cutscenes as well. Open your MetaHuman blueprint and add a customizable skeletal to the body component. Assign your mutable instance and add the component name from the mutable object. Switch to the event graph. Now add an integer variable for each cloth asset you have. Click the eye icon next to each variable and in the details panel enable Expose to Cinematics. The setup is very simple. Connect every variable to an equal node and set its value to 1. Followed by a set bool parameter selected option node. Insert the exact name of your cloth child objects from the mutable setup. Chain all the set bool nodes together, one after another. The last one should connect to the update skeletal mesh async node. Then Drag the customizable skeletal component to the graph and add a Get Customizable Object Instance node. Connect all the target pins to it. Compile and save. If you drag your MetaHuman into the sequencer, you may notice that only the face component appears. But don't worry. Just click the plus button and manually add the body components. From here you can add a control rig or assign an animation sequence, just like always. And if you hit the plus button again, you'll see that all our variables are now available in the sequencer. But nothing changes yet. Because we still need a trigger that ticks our event graph. Similar to the keyboard input we used in the runtime setup. So go back to the event graph and add a custom event node. Name it Sequencer Cloth, for example, and connect it to the first set bool node. In the details panel, enable Call in Editor. Now, in the sequencer, hit the plus button again. Go to Event and Repeater. This adds a new track that fires every frame of the sequence. Right-click the track, go to Properties and at the bottom choose Quick Bind. Search for the sequencer cloth events you just created. It will automatically be added to the director's blueprint of your sequence. Just check Call in Editor in the Details panel. Now, if you set any of the variables to 1, the cloth asset turns on. And you can add keyframes to switch any cloth piece on or off. Scrub through the timeline and you'll see everything updating in real time. That's it. See you in the next tutorial. Cheers!